the ingenious principle of laser. Knowledge floater with videos and audio text. The laser was an idea of Albert Einstein's. Nowadays, lasers are used everywhere. In music and laser shows, in medicine and in printing, in welding cars and ships, in cutting, macro and micro. This universal tool works with a light which does not occur in nature. Laser light is created by initiating the process of light amplification which then runs automatically. We start with electromagnetic waves. Light waves, visible or invisible, are electromagnetic waves. They're a disturbance of the electromagnetic state which is present in all spaces. The smallest flash of light, a quantum, generates such a wave. Energy is transported by this wave. Light, lamp, laser. What's the difference? A source of white light emits light waves of several different wavelengths, or put another way, of several different frequencies. This mixture is known as white light. When a lamp is used to generate parallel red light, for example, light which has the same wavelength, then the phase of all waves is different. A laser, in contrast, generates waves in the same phase. Its light has the same wavelength, the same phase, and is virtually parallel. This light is called coherent. How is this light generated? Research has identified numerous substances that generate laser light. The process occurs when the substance possesses a ground state, E1, which, on a specific addition of energy, changes into a state of excitation, E2. For instance, by lifting up an electron. On returning to the original state, radiation is emitted. This transition scheme is the physical foundation of all lasers. The excitation state of the atoms or molecules lasts for less than a thousandth of a second. After that, they normally return spontaneously to their former state. If, however, numerous atoms or molecules are excited in a short time, then the material is charged, what the scientist calls inversion. One of the spontaneously released impulses now stimulates all charged particles to consecutively discharge and emit radiation. Light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Although the radiation disperses in all directions, the main axis of the laser medium takes preference. Here the wavefront becomes increasingly stronger. The stimulated discharging process of the particles leads to the name of this special light source. LASER is an acronym derived from Light Amplification by Stimulated Emission of Radiation. In order to maintain highly intensive laser light, the following ingenious method is used. Along the main axis of the laser active section, two mirrors are aligned in such a way that the light waves run back and forth between them. This immediately creates a standing wave. The light in a standing wave is greatly intensified because the pump light continues to excite further particles, which are then discharged by the waves. This setup of laser active material and two mirrors is referred to as an optical resonator. One of the mirrors is partially transparent, like this one. This allows part of the radiation to escape from the laser resonator. This is the actual laser beam itself. In order to maintain the process, energy must be continually pumped in.
The wavelength of the laser light influences enormously the transport by glass fibres or mirrors, the focusing by mirrors or lenses, and the absorption in metals, synthetics or biological tissues such as cornea, retina, etc. The type of laser to use depends upon your application.